Welcome to the Direct to Player app training video. In this video, we'll show you how to listen to books on the Android version of the Direct to Player app. Direct to Player is a service for people with print disabilities in Canada who use their public library's CELA service or the CNIB library. The Direct to Player app connects directly to the library and loads Daisy audiobooks. When you open the app, a logon screen displays. Enter your CELA or CNIB library account number and tap the logon button. The app automatically connects to the library if your device has an internet connection. A list of direct to player Daisy audiobooks and magazines that you've borrowed from the library will appear. This list is your bookshelf. Before we explore the bookshelf, let's take a closer look at some of the other options. When we tap on the three squares in the top right corner, we find five options. Refresh Bookshelf, App Settings, Help, About, and Log Out. The App Settings section allows you to customize your experience. Settings chosen here apply app-wide and allow you to do everything from adjust your mobile network usage to change your font size. For more details, check the full user manual found under the Help section. Let's go back to the bookshelf and listen to a book. You can add titles to the bookshelf from the library website by choosing the direct-to-player format. Books suggested for you, based on your reading preferences by our automated system, are pushed to the bookshelf as well. The bookshelf can hold up to 12 items at a time. You can get up to 60 items a month. To learn more about an item, Tap and hold the title. Select Item Details from the pop-up menu. Here we find details such as Author, Category, Summary, and Duration. On this screen, you can also start or cancel downloading and remove the item from your bookshelf. Back on the bookshelf, we can find a book's download status displayed beside each title. Stream, Queued, or Downloaded. You can choose to stream or download an item. To stream, you must be connected to the internet while listening. Simply tap the item and the Daisy player will open and start to play your book. The Corrigan Women by M.T. Dani Published by Ragweed Press, Charlottetown Narrated by Marion Dennis Recorded by volunteers in the studios of the CNIB National Library, Toronto to download an item, tap and hold the title. Select Start Downloading from the pop-up menu. A progress bar indicating percent downloaded will display beneath the title. If there's a delay, the download status will say queued. When the download is complete, the status will change to downloaded. Again, just tap on the downloaded title and it will open in the Daisy Player and start playing. Crimson Eve, Book 3 of the Canner Lake series by Brandy Lynn Collins. Let's look at some of the features available to you in the Daisy Player. The player screen consists of a top menu bar, title bar, and the player itself. From the top menu, you can go back to the bookshelf or choose Contents, represented by horizontal bars, at the top right of the screen. Contents provides access to a list of headings, pages, and bookmarks. The title bar displays the item's title or the heading of the section you're currently reading. Tap the title bar for details about your current position and time remaining. The player itself has four buttons, Navigation Level, Previous, Next, and Play, Pause. There are also three icons, Tools, Alarm Clock, and Bookmark. Let's examine all of these features. If you tap the Navigation Level button, you will cycle through the options. Chapter, Page, Sentence, Time Jump. Tapping the Previous or Next buttons will move you back and forth through the navigation level of your choosing. Holding either button will fast forward or rewind. Tap the Tools icon to display the Player Settings screen. From here, 
you can select Playback Rate or Time Jump Range. Tap the alarm clock icon to select a sleep time interval, anywhere from 15 to 60 minutes. Pause the audio and tap the bookmark icon to insert a bookmark. A short beep will confirm the bookmark has been set. To access your list of bookmarks, select Contents at the top of the screen. Finally, tap the play button to start listening. Crimson Eve, Book 3 of the Canner Lake series by Brandy Lynn Collins. Tap the same button to pause the audio. This has been the Direct to Player app training video. For more information about the app or Direct to Player service, please contact SELA Helpline 1 855 655 2273 SELA or CNIB Library 1 800 268 8818 CNIB Library this video has been made possible thanks to an educational grant from Novartis Pharmaceuticals Canada Incorporated.